Happy Easter, YouTube, for everybody that celebrates that kind of thing. And if you're uh, not into Easter, you know, happy springtime. Uh, what I'm working on today is running some electric fence to complete the circuit. I've run the property line, which runs along those trees, and that stone wall. I've run that entire fence with three-strand aluminum wire uh, with these cheap plastic insulators, and I will do a review of this later. But the short answer is don't buy these things. They're cheap, but they're not strong at all. And if a deer, which is what I'm trying to repel, bumps the line, they basically will snap the teeth off uh, with enough force that they only last one time or one bump. And so uh, they're good enough to do a first cut fence, um, just, just to sort of see the line of sight, but they're totally disposable. They're incredibly cheap, which is nice, but I've already ordered metal ones uh, with, a, with an insulating ring on them, which I'll be using to replace these as they break, because I've probably, on average, about every four days or five days, I have to replace six of them somewhere along the fence line around the 10 acres that I have. Um, at any rate, what I need to do today is just finish from the thick of these trees. You can probably see the stone wall in the distance. I need to just follow that corner and then go from that corner, following the stone wall through here, right over to this bit over here, where you might be able to just make out um, past those stumps. There's some yellow insulators. Hello YouTube, a little outdoor nature video because I'm just outside right now. So spent the whole day putting up electric three strand fence. I've got everything done except for about a 20 foot run of, of the three strands to do up almost a 80 foot incline <laughs> over a 25 foot run, it's very steep. So I have to do that bit and then I just have to connect the wires across the stream and then the fence will be principally finished and energized the whole way around. It'll need a bunch of maintenance and work because the insulators I bought <coughs> are rubbish. <coughs> Pardon me. Bit of a cold. This is the crab apple. I pruned it hard over the winter. Again, trying to give it some shape. I'm trying to get it to go low and outwards before it goes back up. It's broken dormancy and it's popped out looking pretty good. Over here, <coughs> I've got a Japanese maple I bought last fall that I have to put in the ground, but I can't until I get some actual topsoil brought in here. As you can see, my soil is rubbish through this part of the yard. It's all rock and shale. Not good for growing anything but weeds. So here you can see, this is not a marijuana plant, despite what everybody might think. It's a uh, Japanese maple. So it's a little sick. Bought it on discount last year. Needs some serious pruning and shape, but I think that one will come back around. And then out here, I just topped the entire apple orchard, and I'll take a video of that separately where I had to cut most of those off to knee-high stubs, which they recommend you do when you buy bare root trees anyway. I didn't. They were doing pretty well last year, but then they got decimated by deer, so the only way to save them is to cut them back and hope they start over more vigorously. This is a uh, thundercloud plum, which hasn't quite broken dormancy. It's just starting to, as you can see. It's bald and burlapped. It hasn't been put in the ground yet. Um, I don't know, this one maybe won't break dormancy, but you can see maybe, I don't know if the camera will focus on that. The tips are red and the buds look a little swollen. So fingers crossed that one will come around. I have about six of these on the property. I like them because once they leaf out, they're red all year round like autumn, which is kind of nice. Um, I kind of like the color red. It's the accent color for the house. So part of the idea to bring the color outside. This is what they look like when they fully break dormancy and bloom. <clears throat> because it's a plum tree, it's gorgeous. They always have beautiful blossoms. And as I, <coughs> excuse me, I'm led to believe the plum is the, uh, plum flower or blossom is the national flower of Taiwan. So if you're Taiwanese, this is a special shout out to you. Look at that, very pretty. Can't wait to see this tree in full bloom because it's just starting over here. This one that's bloomed out in the center is a typical uh, flowering pear. I'm not a huge fan of them because I'd rather plant regular pear trees that will flower just lovely on their own. But they do make a good pollinator and they're kind of pretty to look at. So I thought I would take a quick video of this. As you can see, this one's doing just fine. I've done a little bit of pruning on it, just taking back where the deer have mauled it. It's the common theme for me in pruning this time of year is just repairing what the deer have started for me. Over here, I have a uh, June Gold Peach, which I bought, 
again on closeout special from the local nursery. Um, I think this one will break dormancy. It looks like it's about to. You can just see, maybe right there, little tiny lone green tips. So fingers crossed this one will make it. She's just a little, a little slower than the others. Over here, I've got a lovely apple tree I put in last fall. Had to hand dug this, um, dig this hole in some terrible rocky conditions, but this tree seems to like it, so need to prune it back a little bit for size control just to help establish some more trunk thickness. But that one is doing quite lovely. Uh, out in the stone fruit orchard, I'll take a video of that on another day. <coughs> The almond trees are back and starting to grow, which is good. In the distance, you might be able to see the three strands of the electric fence that I've run around the perimeter of the entire property. That's what I'm trying to get going here to keep the deer from eating all these things. That's my sort of approach. Last year was to fence off individual trees or groups of trees. This year, I'm trying to fence the entire property. These are my uh, jujube trees, or jujube, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, Zisiphus jujube, um, I think is how it's pronounced. Um, anyway, I pruned them back. I'm not sure if they're going to make it or if they are just extremely late breaking from dormancy. Over here, continuing the outdoor tour, there are two spruce trees that I planted last year that dropped all of their needles over winter and I thought they died. But I can see a flush of green coming back, so I don't know if this tree just went into shock because it was transplanted or what the deal is but I am optimistic it wants to live and will come back. So we'll give it a little fertilizer, hope for the best. Here we have a aprium. Actually, it's a pluot, I'm sorry. But this one is breaking dormancy currently. If you want to see, you can see the buds are just starting to pop. In several spots. It's probably camera isn't focused good at all on this. But you can see that it is just starting, which is nice. This is the same species, needs to be pruned desperately because it's got all kinds of crazy random growth. <coughs> yeah. And these two trees over here are a type of plum, which are good pollinators for the cluots. They need a little bit of love as well for the pruning, but you can see some flowering that's already happened there. So I'm hopeful this one will actually flower uh, profusely once it gets uh, a little further along in spring. It just, just put on some leaves the other day. So with that, I'm going to end this video. It wasn't meant to be a full outdoor tree video. I just happened to be outside and thought I would take a break from putting up this fence. I'm exhausted. Ergo the coughing and the dust and everything. So, All right, that's the homestead for today. It's, uh, it's Easter. Hope you liked the video and I will catch you all later.